So we're live at Switchback tonight. That's what's happening here, but I want to take you back to the studio. Tyler, I know you've been keeping an eye on what's going on weather-wise, and it looks like it's going to be chilly out there tonight, huh? Yeah, I mean, that's the trade-off. We've been talking about it. You don't want humidity, but then it gets real chilly once it's gone after sunset, especially. Of course, the sunset is much earlier now, losing over three minutes of uh, daylight per day. But this is our new Church Street camera. You can see the blue sky out there. Great night to be at switchback because I think the next two nights are cloudier and maybe even a little wet, certainly wetter than this night because it is dry. We've got a 60 at Burlington International. I think the next few days really even into the upcoming weekend are on the chilly side. Just check the average high is 67 for this date, but we're really below that for quite a while to come. And I think we'll have some light rain showers mixed in Wednesday and Thursday, but brighter by Friday. So some uh, exciting news there, at least for the end of the week. 48 though right now in Gabriel's Look at all the 50s. I mean, we do have a 60 in Waterbury and Burlington, but most of the area in the 50s with the clouds that we had, especially earlier, sun a little slow to come out. But we had one little cold front go south of us. Actually had a lot of lightning in southern New England today, but we missed that. There's a little bit of a reinforcing front, not really showing up here, but it comes in tomorrow. There's also uh, another disturbance with it. So there'll be more clouds as we go into later tomorrow and even into Thursday. You can see the clouds working in 10 o'clock in the morning. So if there's a sunny part of tomorrow, it's probably really early about sunrise, then the clouds and even some showers. See how the little patches of light green come through later on tomorrow. So I think second half of the day for Wednesday would be a, a little wet in a few spots. And then on Thursday, just about any point as everything pivots through the clouds in the lighter showers, but I did want to show you how much because it's not much. So it's just really light sprinkles and very light showers we're talking about. But as we go along here, this is when you combine tomorrow and Thursday. Still a lot of zeros on the map, but maybe a tenth of an inch of rain for a few, uh, few spots. So it won't be anything super heavy, but not any blue sky kind of like we're having this evening. So frosty, as Tom mentioned, especially west and east of Lake Champlain, once you get away from the water, because the water is still in the mid 60s. So that kind of helps keep the shore a little warmer, but that won't be the case in the Adirondacks or the Northeast Kingdom. And this is the call for tomorrow. I think there's a little sun first thing, but clouds increase kind of holds us in the 50s, 57 the high in Burlington. 56 in E-Town with some of those light showers later tomorrow, any point possibly on Thursday. October begins on Friday, hard to believe, 62. Even into the upcoming weekend, it's still on the cool side, but uh, dry day likely Saturday with some showers by Sunday. But next week, looks like we rebound closer to average with plenty of sunshine in the mix. Brian, Alice.